Hallo, <laughs> it's Petra from Petra's Cauldron. I am so sorry that I've been posting and uh, not too much lately. Uh, we had a lot of stuff going on. Two of my refrigerators broke down, so in all in four weeks. So that was terrifying and I had to replace all my food. I got all in the garbage can, it was really terrible. But so when I tried to save whatever I could, um, so that's number one. And um, number two is we're going to do a quick video here today and it's going to be something like a reverse video, but you will see what I'm talking about. Um, sometimes we have some leftovers and we don't know what really to do with them. And I'm always heating them up. It's not always the same thing. So we have had the other day I made kebabs, which I made a video about it anyway. So you can go and check my kebab video out. Really delicious. So and I used London Boil. London Boil was on sale, so I used my London Boil. And I cut it in big cubes and I put that into a marinade. And um, I thought, what can I do with that? What type of marinade am I going to use? Well, with Greg said, I want to have something Asian taste. Soy sauce, you know, hoisin sauce, um, sesame seeds, things like that. And I said, okay, cool, let's make that. We haven't done that in quite a while. And then I came up with this awesome idea. Why not use my crock pot? <laughs> make it very simple. So I used my crock pot and I marinate. Oh, well, go back. Rewind. Sorry. So I used um, a plastic bag, put in my meats. You know, I had it all cut in pieces and my leftovers. And I put in um, organic soy sauce, some sesame oil and um, some spicy stuff and um, teriyaki sauce I had left over. So and I thought that's kind of cool. So I had it marinated now for two days. So I took it out earlier today and I put it into my crock pot with some other ingredients leftovers. And since last night we had uh, spaghetti carbonara, which I also had a video on. You can also go back and check it out. You got to love it because I didn't have a good time yesterday cooking. And then um, after my refrigerator breakdown part, you know, I wasn't really in the mood. But carbonara is always a hit. <laughs> so I used that. But let me show you what else goes into this beautiful dish. And I made it kind of like an Asian um, stir fry. No, not stir fry. Um, uh, pot roast, no, not pot roast. Uh, sometimes the English names don't come in my head, but you will see what I mean, you know, so you're gonna like it. Watch it. So I was using my um, my meat, and this is what it looks like. See, they call it in Germany kind of like a goulash type thing, and it's only cooked in its own juice and with vegetables and with all the herbs and spices I put in so far. But um, I'm gonna show you what I use for that, okay? And I had it sit for now five hours on high. So I found some leftover um, cabbage. That's cabbage, yeah. So I used that side, sliced off some cabbage, found out some broccoli, broccoli, yeah, broccoli, some carrots, and I sliced it down. And I had a red one, not, not the orange one, but I used onions and I used garlic and I found some mushrooms. So I put that in. And I flavored it with sesame oil, organic soy sauce, some red pepper flakes, and my hoisin sauce, and uh, my teriyaki sauce, right? So that was also in my marinade, and then I used it into my crock pot. And then I used my leftover noodles. Now this is pretty cool, you know, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, or you're watching your carbs. If you have cooked them noodles before, and um, you wash them off with cold water, you wash out all the starches, and now you can reheat it again, and you got only half of the cups. How cool is that? So now you know what I had in here, and this is um, what it looks like. All I have to do now is thicken it up, and um, heat up my noodles, and plate it. So I had it on high heat here for about six hours, because I left the house earlier today. So. And this is a very, very nice thing, you know, to, um, yeah, to use up all your leftovers. And it's very delicious, something different. So I'll show you um, what the next step is. I mean, you know how to use your cornstarch right here. Put some water in, you know, and then take this out, put it in a big pot, which I'm going to do. And I'll show you, and um, I'm going to thicken this one up, okay? So I have transferred now all my goodiness from my slow cooker into a bigger pot and it starts boiling and I also transferred my washed cold washed noodles into a different pot and it starts boiling pretty soon too all right so now we're going to thicken it up this baby here 
So I'm gonna put in now my cornstarch and just put in a little because it's gonna start thickening up very fast, okay? So all right, so just doesn't hurt. I'm sorry, I'm feeling by myself here. That's kinda <laughs> difficult, you know. So it becomes now thicker. So if it's not enough, you, you toss in a little more, which I'm doing. Just to make sure we have a nice thick sauce. So that is now the time when you start tasting it. And um, that's when you find out you need more hoisin sauce, more soy sauce, more red pepper or more sesame oil or whatever your taste is, you know. That is when you spice it up just a little. That's basically all it is. <laughs> so I'm back. I have tasted mine and it is absolutely fantastic. And I'll show you what this looks like later on. So it's going to be awesome. I didn't even have to put anything else on it. It was just perfect as it is. So why messing up something really, really good, you know. But like I said, you know, you have to go by your own taste. Um, if you want it more salty, put more soy sauce on, or if you want to have it more spicy, put more uh, fla pepper flakes on it. It's all our preferences, you know, so. Yeah, and this is my new refrigerator here. You see, there it is. Yeah, it's different. I like it. I still have to get used to it. And um, hopefully someday soon I'm going to show you what this refrigerator is all about it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a review on it, but I have to have to learn my new refrigerator how to learn more so yeah and um, it's time now for plating and i'll show you what that looks like so my friends this is what it looks like not shabby at all for something you know you just found into your refrigerator you see the noodles you see the lawn ball you see the uh, champignons the mushrooms you see the carrots um you see um red red paprika uh, pa pa bell peppers oh my english is so bad today it's always bad. Oh, it's okay. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to have Greg now taking a, a taste test and I'm going to make him ask him what it tastes like. Okay. Good. Here. Do it. There you go ahead. I'm not going to put him on, on camera because um, he doesn't like to be on camera. But <laughs> <laughs> is that correct or yeah, what? That's correct. Yeah, he doesn't like it. I'm the mystery guy in the background. Mm hmm. So you tell me what it tastes like. Okay, go ahead. Oh, or hot. <laughs> that comes out of the pot. <laughs> Is it very spicy? No, not at all. Not at all? Mm -hmm. So you can make it more spicy? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we have a good good spice level. Huh? Mm -hmm. Pretty good for leftovers. Pretty good for yeah. leftovers, yeah. Not like what? What does it taste like for you? Um, hey, oh, 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 hey, Auntie is watching out. So, what does it taste like? Tell me, it's a uh, teriyaki. I, I, I taste the vegetables, it's, it's it's tasty, it's flavorful, yeah. Okay, cool, definitely flavorful. Mm -hmm. So, so you think that this is a winner and you would do it again? I would definitely do it again. Oh, I, would nice. I, I think I would put a little bit more teriyaki sauce on there. Okay. For the marinade. Uh huh. I think it was lightly marinated, but yeah. Yeah, I was careful, you know. <clears throat> yeah, so. it's good. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends. So far, so good. So, <laughs> I guess the verdict is in. So, Greg just said something else. What did you say with the meat? Oh, I said the meat actually, because it got slow cooked and marinated, marinated, then slow cooked. It, it broke down and it actually got tender because that lung and broil is a real tough piece of meat Yeah. to get to, to that point. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. So that's what you can do with the leftover lung and broil from skewers or whatever you have, you know, so it's wonderful. So please like and subscribe my video. I'm so sorry that um, uh, you guys had to wait for so long to bring the new video out. But um, like I said, you know, it was... Um, a little heartbreaking for me, you know, losing two refrigerators, not one, but two. And one refrigerator was only six years old and it was very fancy and very expensive and um, it's broken. And it's an LG and it's been known for the compressor breaks down. And um, that's a long story, but I'll tell you that next time when I do my, my little review of my new one, which is a Samsung. 
Samsung doesn't have good reviews either, but you know, but that's okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting shipped away here. <laughs> Please like and subscribe my, my video. And um, yeah, I would like to see you guys back. And I'd like to say thank you for stopping by here again. And I'm very, very happy to see you all. And um, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment, okay? That way I can answer anything you have maybe in mind, okay? So, and don't forget to cook it. <laughs> so, see you later, alligator. Tschüss! <laughs>